So after doing this project, do I even need V-Ray anymore? Lately I've been experimenting with using just standard 3ds Max. No plugins, no third party render engines, not even an adjustment to the basic UI. Why would anyone ever want to do this you might wonder? Well when you have over 140,000 students around the world that speak various different languages and use various different versions of the software, you have to keep things default. It gives the most people the best chance to follow along. Right now I'm creating a ton of new content specifically for my students that are trying to use or learn 3ds Max better and so here we are default settings only but I'm liking the results. You know from this channel that I like to experiment with different software and different workflows so this time Arnold Render the default render engine included with 3ds Max is up. Can it hang with my go-to render engine V-Ray? We shall see. Also, can the basic modeling tools within 3ds Max create all the organic and complex shapes that I need it to? Well, all power users of 3ds Max should already know the answer to that question. But if you want to see how it can do that, then just keep watching. When thinking about what project I wanted to create, I immediately thought about the other two things I love besides 3D, and that's riding bikes and playing guitar. Please note that I'm not good at these two things, I just really like them. Guitar won out in this case because it seemed like a simpler project to demonstrate with. So I took a bunch of pictures of my junior Martin and I was on my way. First things first, I had to dive in and do a bunch of poly modeling. I have to say I thought this guitar would be very simple to model, but it turns out that there were some tough details to get just right. In this case I used the open subdivisions method for my smoothing in conjunction with a crease set modifier to tell all my edges how to behave. It worked out very nicely and it gives you a lot of control over your smoothing. So this is where I started entering into unknown territory. However, I know that having vast experience in something like V-Ray means that even in a totally unfamiliar rendering software, things will probably come quite naturally to me. I was right about this. The Arnold light had everything I would expect in a good 3D light. Basically all the same things a V-Ray light does. All the settings are combined into a single light type, so a spherical light, a disc light, a rectangular area light, all these are easy to create with a single Arnold light type. Essentially, this part of the process was so similar to V-Ray that I just knew how to do it. Interesting. Materials worried me a bit because I'm so used to V-Ray materials and I love them. I will say though that again, if you already have experience doing V-Ray materials or PBR materials, Everything will feel very familiar to you with only minor differences. I was able to jump in right away and start creating. With Arnold, you actually have two options. You can use the 3ds Max physical materials or you can use the specific Arnold shader. I just stuck with the physical material because it works and it was a little closer to what I'm used to. A lot of you have probably already used physical materials before. Arnold materials work as well and are not that far removed from the physical material or a V-Ray material if that is your thing. Overall, the materials did not hang me up and my guitar was looking pretty cool. Render settings definitely had the potential to be a stumbling block. I knew this would be different than what I was used to. Render settings can get quite confusing and convoluted. Fortunately, with Arnold, the quality settings are quite straightforward. You just have to control the samples and the bounces for various different parts of your rendering. For example, specular reflection. Or, if you want to keep it simple, you can just do that for the overall quality only, and you will get great results. So, like V-Ray, you can pretty easily find the key settings and simply turn those down and up for quality versus speed. One thing I absolutely love about V-Ray is the frame buffer and of course, the light mix. You guys know I love light mix. 
I was worried that Arnold would suck in this realm, but I was pleasantly surprised. Arnold does have a similar frame buffer to V-Ray, where you can control exposure, color balance, etc. And it does have something similar to Light Mix. In fact, it can basically do the exact same thing. I'd say it's a little more awkward to use, but it performs the essential task of allowing you to adjust your lighting after the fact. Great. The one thing I hate about Arnold is how confusing it is to set up basic render channels or do something basic like a material override rendering. It's all possible, but it is not nearly as user-friendly as V-Ray is on the same tasks, in my opinion. The last thing I did was create a little sound wave looking thing going through my scene with the help of the fantastic new array tool, which has been recently added to 3ds Max, and I call that done. If you want to see my video on the Array tool, check out here or the links in the description. Okay, so if you want to check out this project, along with 7 hours of additional professional training in 3ds Max, meant for anyone trying to learn the software better or for the first time, I will put the links in the description with a special YouTube discount. So after doing this project, do I even need V-Ray anymore? No, I don't. Not really. If I was desperate to save money, I could totally cancel my V-Ray subscription and still continue to create awesome stuff. That much is clear to me now. However, will I be canceling my V-Ray? Absolutely not. I love V-Ray. I have an efficient workflow that I've honed over many, many years that I've become used to, and it works very well for me, and I've created many great projects with it. Basically, I'm hooked on it. However, I will say that Arnold, I believe to be a completely capable render engine, just like V-Ray. And if I used it for any prolonged period of time, I'd probably get used to it and like it just as much as I do V-Ray. What do you all think? Are you ready to save some cash and drop your V-Ray subscription? What specific benefits does V-Ray offer that Arnold cannot provide? Or maybe you've already dropped V-Ray and switched to Corona. Let me know in the comments. Should I do a Corona video in the future? What render engines are you using and why do you think they're better than another one that might be cheaper or even free with 3ds Max like Arnold? Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe for a bunch more ArcViz content that I'm always creating and always posting here. Don't miss out. Thanks.